Hi, I'm Mel and welcome back or welcome to my channel and welcome to day 11 of Vlogmas. In today's video I will be sharing with you how to make your very own stocking. Of course mine is for my best friend's baby Aurelia and she picked it up on Friday and absolutely loves it and I can't wait to see photos and films of Aurelia open, opening stuff out of her stocking. So for this you will need uh, a needle and thread anyway or and a sewing machine or if you're going to sew it all by hand then just a needle and thread. You will also need half a metre of your main fabric, so that's completely up to you. For me that's the pink and white stripe. Then for the other two fabrics you will need a, a fat quarter of uh, fabric. Um, and that for me is the pink with the gingerbread and candy canes on and the spotted gingerbread colour fabric. And then you'll need about 20 centimetres worth of uh, ribbon. And I used, well, I used about 20, 20 centimetres but I got a metre. So it just depends how it came from. And I got that ribbon from eBay, brand new. But the rest of the stuff I got was from the Knitting and Stitching show in London. But most of my fabric comes from Higgs and Higgs. Um, and Fabric Galore is mainly where I get my fabric from. So I forgot to, well actually I didn't forget, I deleted the wrong footage earlier and delete this intro so I'm filming it again now. So I can't really show you my fat quarter and half a metre. So obviously half a metre is half of a full length of like one metre and a fat quarter rather than a strip is like a square of fabric. Um, you can have it the other way as well, just a quarter of a metre long ways, that's totally fine as well, but I had fat quarters, so yeah. So I'm, I'm, I am using a sewing machine because I find it is more secure and takes less time, but if you want to do hand stitch for this, that is totally fine too. And obviously we do chain stitch for the, the name across the bottom, so I will show you all the steps now and I hope you enjoy. Make sure you add allowance for your seams. I probably do about 1.5 centimetre seam allowance um, normally. That is my boo. I'm going to do a seam allowance on it as well. When I cut it round, I'm just going to do a rough line round now to do that because that is the shape I want. Um, so I'm just going to do a rough um, seam allowance round. And then you can cut that out. Um, I'm going to obviously do my gingerbread man. And then I want to do... This is a ruffle at the top with her name on it. So... You just need to work out kind of how much you want. So I'm just going to do a strip. So that's... Twelve across. So... And then I'm going to do a gingerbread man as well. Um, I need something like to draw around.
the gingerbread man you don't need um a seam because you're just going to literally do the zigzag stitch tightly round it um but the rest you need the seam on so that's why i've done that with the seam um but yeah for this i'm going to cut him in half fold him in half afterwards and make sure he's equal um but i just did that as an outline so i'm going to cut these out now and i'll be back now if you bring in your main fabric so mine is the uh baby pink and white stripe you want to keep it on the fold and really you want two of these oh that was good so you need to move all the other fabrics out of the way so you don't cut them and then you just this is the f you can't see me. <laughs> okay so this This is the fold here, so I am going to lay this on the fold. Well, yeah, that's it. And then I pin it in place and cut it out, and then that will be enough for another one there, which is perfect. So you've got the inside and the outside because it's better to have the double layer, especially in a a stocking. So I just pin this in place and cut it out. And the good thing about having it on the fold is that you don't have to cut that edge obviously so now I'm going to recut that again because I want that for the inside too so this one isn't going to be on the fold so obviously it's going to need a seam so we will just pin that back in place here now and cut it out So that's the boot done, so the outside and the inside one. So you put that slot to one side for a minute. Then you just need to get your gingerbread man and then this is for like the, um, how do I describe this to you? This is like the, the turnover at the top. Again, you need two of these. So open your fabric on the fold and what we're going to do is we're going to cheat because it's on the fold here we're going to measure one and then where that ends we're going to fold it up and make sure it fits so really you're cutting two and then you're just going to cut it in half after Keep it folded and then just cut down the fold on the like the longer side. So then you've got your inside and outside as such for that. And then for this, we're not going to use it. We are going to use a bit more probably. We're going to do the boot bottom. So I am going to just use this bit that I've already cut out prob most probably. Measure this. And then I'm just going to cut along here and make the boot shape again um, just because it's quite cute to have the two-tone on it and it adds the gingerbread back into the to the 
theme, I guess. So I'm just not going to go along here, pin along there anyway, I'm going to just... Okay, so I'm going to unpin it now. And hopefully, you can see this, I need to cut up a bit up here. So I've got enough for a seam allowance to fold over at the top. And then just cut along. So you've got enough to turn it over, basically. So it's just the boot. You can do as much as you want of it. It doesn't have to be that much. Animal or whatever you're doing fabric. You only need one of these. The smallest bit of fabric I could get was a fat quarter. That's why I went for... Uh, it's actually, it's not, it's a long quarter, but um, it's a quarter, so that's why I went for that. And then you just want to pin your, in my case, gingerbread man on. So as you can see, I've just laid it out for you. Um, so all you need to do now is transition it onto the sewing machine, basically. So from my floor I'm now going to go to my table or my desk and sew this in place so first of all well I'll go for it with you up there but this is what it will look like um you can do it in absolutely any fabrics but I just love the gingerbread theme because it was different um and so basically yeah that's what I'm doing so uh, today I'm using my genome model 1571 and I'm going to use this thread because it matched the gingerbread as much as I, it could so I'm just going to wind my bobbin now and start um, and I'll show you as I go along. So first of all you want to take your outside boot so the one that was on the fold with the bottom bit if you're doing that uh, put the wrong bit up if you're going to do this um, it is really cute to do it like this because it gives you the extra so first of all you just really want to sew on the bottom two bits to the front bit that's on the fold basically so you do one bit at a time um, and go from there so you can just literally unfold the boot pin it on if you're not confident if you are go for it But I would advise pinning it on. I will even pin mine on. Um, just to make sure. So just pin it on. So with this top edge. Here you just need to fold it. Under. And pin it. So you're making like this seam. The hem even. And fold that all the way along. Use as many or as little pins as you want. Um, it's just however confident you are. If you hand sew it, then you just need to just do a little hand stitch along, um, capturing in the edges basically. But the others will all go into the seam, whereas this obviously won't. So now we're just gonna stitch this straight round. So make sure your sewing machine is on straight stitch. And then, Start in one corner and go back again. You can go as near to the edge as you want because it's just going to get put in the seam. So, so start in one corner, go the whole way around and meet back at the beginning again. You can go as close to the edge as possible because it's going to be met in the um, seam anyway. And then just do the same the other side and I'll be back once I've done that. Okay, so both sides are sewn now and you can see it's pretty equal. I made sure it matched at the top. Um, because I'm a wally, I'm going to cut this side seam up now. 
we actually don't have to, you just need to make one. So you, just, you don't have to, you just need to make sure you sew down the that side too, because I left a seam allowance. But first of all, you're going to get your gingerbread man, or girl in my case, and make work out what side you want as the front. So I think I want this side as the front. And then you just want to pin her in, or him in place. Remember, you have um, the turnover at the top to do as well, so just be careful of that, or just think about that. Pin your gingerbread man in pl place, only on the front side, and then you want to change your sewing machine to the stitch you want, so I'll show you that in a minute once I've pinned him in place. So you can see I've really put effort into pinning this because you don't want it to move at all. Um, and then on my sewing machine, I want to change it to the zigzag, zigzag stitch, which is C. And then you want it, the length to be the smallest and the width. So you're making the zigzaggy shape, but tight together. So I'm going to show you that now on the sewing machine, but that is what I use. So I've got a bit of a mess here, but I'm gonna now do like the face, um, the detail of the, I want like to do hair details a little bit because obviously it's for a girl, and um, the eyes and, and like the buttons down the front. So I've just picked out sequins, um, like beads and all different like color threads to do the detail on that. So I'm gonna do that now. You just need to embroider them on, make sure they're completely stuck on because obviously, you don't want them falling off. So now that your gingerbread man is done, you need to sew down, actually I cut down this side because it was easier for me, and now you just need to put right sides together, match up this so it equals. Pin it in place and sew round leaving the top open. I've sewn the bows on. And now for her name, it's going to go across here. Um, I've just got a pencil somewhere. I don't know where I put it, here. I've got a pencil and I'm just going to write out her name and then get ready to embroider it. I've got my embroidery thread here. I'm going to do two strands of it um, and just write this out now and then do, get on with the chain stitch. So I've got my two strands of thread on my needle and I have put a knot in the end. And so what you need to do is just chain stitch each letter. So I'm gonna start with the A. You literally, I'm gonna see a lot of my hand. So you go up where you've just come through the fabric, you go up right next to it and then up a bit, but having the fabric looped round let's say and then you go again so you where you've just come up you go back up um, a little bit and um, follow the line that you've just made with your pencil just make sure that every time it's looped basically
So there's her name all written, like stitched out. Aurelia. Um, and then all I need to do now is go back onto the sewing machine, finish the top, put the inside in the in it, and put the ribbon on and it's done. So with your top bits of fabric, with your top bits of fabric, you want to sew the seams on them, just the side seams on both. So you need to do that now. You want to get your, turn this the right way round. Like so. And with one of them, you need to be able to sew the top of this to that. Okay, so for the middle of the stocking, just to make sure it's correct, I've put it inside the other one and turned around and played with it. So you need the right side of the right side, so the seams on the outside of the fabric to the wrong side of the like the top fabric and pin in place but on the side the long side seam you also need to put this into it so you need to put so have your seam open of your main like the big bit of fabric the striped for me and um, then you want to put in your ribbon folded in half and then you want to open the seam of the this is in my case the gingerbread fabric and match it to the seam of the other one so it's say the right side which is the inside of your fabric of the stripe to the wrong side of the gingerbread man and then we're just going to pin that well for me I'm clipping it in place because that's what I find easiest since I got them the other week okay so now I have sewn both of the seams um, for the tops just cut that off because it was a loose bit of thread so it will look like that and when you turn that bit over the loop is attached which is what you want which is perfect we'll trim all of the loose ed like threads and that afterwards so now all you need to do is make a side seam like a hem basically of these two and stitch them together it's a finished edge so just make sure that it all matches and looks perfect okay so this is the finished article it needs a bit of a press so it's the finished stocking to make sure it fits right so I've just hung it on the door because I don't have a fireplace but yeah just need to like press this open a little bit more but yeah this is Aurelia and yeah and that's it so that is it for today's vlogmas I can't think what it is so that is it for today's video if you liked it please give it a thumbs up please comment down below if you'd make your own stocking or if you have what was the pattern of it please also subscribe push that notification bell to see when i post and thanks for watching bye